Jack, thanks for joining me today. So it's Jack Durkin, co-founder and co-owner of the Avenue Estate Agency. Jack, introduce us to your business, please. Thank you, Andy. So, so yeah, so my name's Jack Durkin. We have an estate agency business in the UK um, and we specialise in selling premium homes across the UK. Uh, but also we do that through offering um, estate agents the option of working self-employed under our brokerage model. Um, so we tend to focus on mid to upper end of the market properties um, and each of our agents are now building their personal brands, they're building their businesses in their local areas and becoming an attraction agent um, for their local areas as well. Right. So help us understand a little bit more about what differentiates you, makes you stand out from your competition. So we're, we're big advocates of, of marketing. So the two things we uh, find really, really important to us and what we want to, we really want to innovate and uh, make real change across the across the estate agency industry. And by doing two things, we want to offer a better quality of marketing. So we, um, we're fortunate to have an amazing in-house media team uh, that create amazing photos, HDR images of each of the properties. We go really high end when it comes to video tours as well, um, drone footage, twilight photos we, we just try and make sure that each of our properties that we photograph and market stand out from all the competition mm -hmm. um the second thing is we a lot of agents will want to be the biggest agent in the area um however we're not we're not here for being the biggest we want to be the best and i don't think those two things can go hand in hand so um our ethos is always uh, never the biggest but always the best and in doing that that means we have to take on a limited number of clients which means we can offer more support, we can offer a better quality of um, service, we can be more proactive, and we can dedicate more time to helping each of those clients get the very best results. So those are the two things that set us apart, really, is the quality of marketing um, and take on a limited number of clients. Great stuff. Thanks. So where's the business going, Jack? Give us uh, the aspirations for the next five years, let's say. Yeah, so we, we've got big, big ambitions, big plans, really. So we we launched in 2021. Um, so we are coming up to three years. It was actually July 2021 we launched. So this will be, uh, but this month is our three-year anniversary. Mm -hmm. uh, over the next five years, we really want to grow and scale the number of agents we've got in the business so we can reach and, reach and help and support more clients. Um, we have currently, majority of our agents are across the Midlands. We also have um, some agents down in Essex as well. Um, so we want to grow out in concentric circles across the Midlands um, and then throughout the UK over the next five years. So 100 agents over the next five years is the target, um, but we want to make sure that they are the very best agents for each area um, and they're able to offer the right support and marketing for their clients in the local yeah. areas of where they live. Good stuff. What would you say has been your biggest learning since you've been a business owner, Jack? uh there's been there's been lots there's been lots i think um being very open minded as well we and you know be being very open minded to change um making sure that we are always looking at ways that we can continually improve um i think as well always making sure what we, that we can make changes ahead of time uh, rather than making them too late so we've brought um some infrastructure into our business uh, back end support with admin um, I'm operationals manager as well, the marketing team that we've introduced. Uh, and we've had to make those changes sometimes ahead of time, sometimes when the cash flow isn't quite there, but we need those people in the business before we're going to start to see uh, that cash flow start to take shape. So, um, yeah, I suppose planning ahead of time, really, and making sure that we take time in, in preparing and I suppose spend more time in preparation as opposed to just doing the thing. Um, so planning, preparing, thinking ahead, looking ahead, we um we we have a lot of uh coaching and support um externally. We have spent a lot of time building out the vision, the mission for the company, the company values, which have become really, really important. Have kind of become um our backbone to the whole business. Um, yeah. And you know, using those values, the mission, the vision, and uh, the structure of the business, we now know who exactly the right people are that we need in the business. Yeah, uh, and we can kind of we know who the right fit aren't as well. So um, it's much more easy to define who we need in the business and who are the right people for the business. And cool. now, that we've, now they've got that very clear. Good stuff. Brilliant. What about the biggest challenge you've overcome? Uh, biggest challenge I've overcome? I think it, it always comes down to um, managing and, and leading the team. I think it's, you know, it is a challenge because, um, you know, we're trying to motivate and inspire our team um, and our, the people within the business. And we've, we've, we've got very big ambitious plans. 
But it's also sometimes understanding that things can take time. And myself, I'm a business partner, James will admit, we, we can be a little bit impatient. I'm sure a lot of business owners as can be, uh, but it's, you know, always looking back as well and not, we're, we're always looking forward, but sometimes we never really take the time to reflect back and look at how far we've come as a business and what we've done over the past three years um, and really praise and, you know, support the team for, for what they've done in that time. Um, but I think the biggest, yeah, biggest challenge is leading, managing a team, having so many different personalities, um, so many different ways of, of, of in which people learn and, and take advice and take feedback. Uh, and it's just trying to adapt to each person in the business and understand how they communicate best and making sure we're the right leaders for, for the team, for the business. So that's probably the biggest challenge. Right. If you were sitting here with your current level of knowledge, um, having a conversation with your 18 year old self, what would you say? If going back to when I was 18, I, I would, I would have wanted myself to ask more questions, um, ask more questions, get as many, as much information as, as I possibly could have done. Um, I think looking back as an 18 year old, I was probably a little bit more arrogant than, than I probably am now. <laughs> so, um, probably always thought I was right. Never, uh, wanted to ask a question or, or take any advice that I didn't want to be and it's probably more of a, a set on a self-reflection thing um an insecurity maybe you know what not wanting to admit that I didn't have all of the answers mm -hmm. uh, whereas yeah if I could give myself any advice um to give myself back then when I was 18 it would be ask as many questions as you can find out as much information as you can um yeah and learn and learn and learn and learn I suppose I only started to really um, embrace learning as I got into my mid twenties um, and really then started to embrace learning, embrace business and yeah. the, yeah, the impact that's had on the business and also pers personal development as well has been, has been massive. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. If you had to um, tie it up with a neat bow, what would be the one piece of advice that you give to the other business owners watching this? I would say going back to to creating to creating the structure and, and having having the plan. I think um, we've with mo with a lot of people, especially if you're driven, determined, you need those um, skills to be able to be successful in business. But you also need to have a direction. And if you don't know where you're going, you don't know where where you're looking to take that that ship or steer that ship. Then it's very difficult to to keep on track and stay consistent doing the thing day to day. Whereas if you know where you want to be. Yeah. You can work backwards um, and, you know, you could, you've then got a very clear um, plan and you can stay consistent with it. You know, you're on track. You've got the real yeah. purpose. You've got a real understanding of why. So it would be to take the time out to make sure you've got a plan, a vision that you can then execute um, and do it well and do it consistently. Yeah, very good. Completely agree. So if anybody wants to find out more about the Avenue, obviously your website details will be sitting below this video. Um, what are the best next steps, Jack? So if there's anyone out there that is considering either selling their home um, or if there's even anyone out there that is looking to get into a state agency, if you're an entrepreneur, um, if you are within the property sector already, then we would love to speak with you. Um, as I said, we're looking to grow our team of elite estate agents so we can help and reach more clients. Um, so if you do want to have a conversation, then they can contact me either through email at jack at theavenue.co.uk. They can head on to our website, www.theavenue.co.uk, or we are across many social media platforms. Um, so usually found at the Avenue EA UK um, on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, and we are on LinkedIn somewhere as well. Right. Brilliant. Thank you. Very clear. Jack, thanks for your insights today. Obviously, the best of luck with the business going forward and um, take care. Thanks, Andy. Thanks for having us on. Cheers.